Well, no snow tonight in Center City. It might be clear, but it's brisk out there. Tomorrow will be a different story with rain and snow across the area. Andrew is back now with a full next weather forecast. What yeah. can we expect? Well, uh, pretty much the full gamut. A little bit of everything. And once again, depending on where you are, you're either going to get a lot of snow or a pretty decent amount of rain. All of you, though, are going to get a lot of wind. Tuesday and Wednesday, we may even see some wind alerts, wind warnings, with gusts over 50 miles per hour. So, whew, we're busy as we walk over to the wall tonight, 1115, taking a look at Spring Garden. It is a quiet night. The clouds are rolling in, thickening up. And the first couple of drops and the first couple of flakes from this latest storm system will be here by the morning. Let's take a look at where we were on Sunday. Not so bad for the parade. A little chilly, but temperatures reached the mid and upper 40s. 47 Philadelphia made it to 44 Allentown, Wilmington 45. The Jersey Shore 45 in Atlantic City 44 in Wildwood. Let's get right off the top to what we are tracking now in the new week ahead. Monday and Tuesday are next weather alert days. That means significant weather will impact you, whether it's rain or snow. In Philadelphia, surprise, surprise, it's going to be rain. There could be a light mix on Tuesday. As cold air filters in, maybe a few flakes flying. But right now, the biggest concern for snow will be the Poconos. Six to eight, maybe in the highest elevations, upwards of 12 inches of snow. Part one is Monday. Part two is early Tuesday. And we could be looking at snowfall rates over one inch per hour up toward Carbon and Monroe counties. Lots of wind by the way, for Tuesday and Wednesday behind the system. So, Carbon and Monroe counties, as of right now, underneath winter storm watches. That goes into effect early Monday and goes all the way through Tuesday. No one else right now is underneath any watch, warning, or advisory, but I do think the Lehigh Valley, we're going to keep an eye on that because that could change as we get into tomorrow. So, what does that mean? It means that if you're in Carbon and Monroe counties, Heavy snow with 6 to 12 inches, not out of the question, and blowing and drifting snow for Tuesday into Wednesday as the winds kick up. Right now, the clouds and radar showing that we have a couple of drops, a couple of flakes to our west. It's still relatively dry in the mid layers of the atmosphere, so we're not seeing a lot of that reaching the ground. It's going to take a little bit of time, of course, even though we're watching a few flakes near Allentown. Again, you might see a stray one on the windshield overnight, but that's it. Jersey Shore, same thing, cloudy skies, perhaps a drop or two. But things start to ramp up as we get toward your Monday morning. So start thinking ahead and planning ahead for school, for work, for any errands. By 6 o'clock in the morning, we have some scattered showers for most areas south of the Lehigh Valley. But the snow does start to pile up. Carbon Monroe County, it's like a machine. We'll just keep getting it over and over again. Two to four inches possible by the end of the day on Monday. For everybody else, it's going to be scattered showers. The rub comes in late Monday into Tuesday as the cold air wraps around the system departing. We've got that really strong northwesterly breeze, and we may kick up enough snow flurry action to even make it as far south as Philadelphia and the Jersey Shore. We will continue, though, at this point to pile up snow north in the Lehigh Valley and the Pocono. So when all is said and done, could we see something in Philadelphia, two tenths of an inch? Maybe. We're talking about maybe on top of the cars, grassy surfaces, that's it. But again, six, seven, eight inches, Mount Pocono, the highest elevations up to 12. Here's your seven day forecast. Again, Monday and Tuesday, we've got that next weather alert that will go into effect 4 30 in the morning tomorrow. So we'll be watching that for you. By Thursday and Friday, we finally turn off the wind machine, turn up the temperature, and we'll have a couple of showers by next Saturday, of course. Kate Bilo will have a fresh update for you as we have team coverage starting at 4.30 in the morning. All right. Thank you, Andrew.